I want to thank everybody for coming to join to join in on our intention for the planet and for all of humanity. The intention of this harmonic emergence gathering is to have a heart expansion meditation where we can connect with our multidimensional selves and bring in those higher vibrational energies to earth, grounding them into the planet and then expanding them out to the universe with a clarion call saying we are ready. What we're going to create today can encourage us to put aside our differences and spark a new momentum towards all humans finally getting along with each other and creating a thriving new heart-based world. So if you have any shoes on, I encourage you right now to take them off and let your feet join on the sand or your legs, whichever one you prefer, but at least if you're sitting in a chair, put your feet in the sand. This 99% quartz, 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand is what we're here for today in the vortex that exists outside in the water. Well, yeah, it, <laughs> it is now. <laughs> we've already done the work and we, we walked yeah. away when we came back. So what Bill said is when we came here, we created the vortex, and when he walked to the water, it powered up, and now we're sitting in a vortex. Actually, what I've already said in the meditation here has already happened, <laughs> so we're just reliving it. Bill, what did you want to um, say? We didn't create a vortex. A vortex is naturally occurring. A portal is an artificially created vortex. The vortex is naturally existing right here. What I did when I got here is help to release the, the resistance to it, which allows it to power up and then it affects everybody. It allows the flow. It's like an electrical circuit, kind of like a, uh, like just how electricity flows. When you put in resistors, it does not allow the flow to work as well. And everybody who comes down here holding negative astral in their fields a vortex exchanges that negative astral that they picked up from their experiences or their thoughts or emotions or whatever crap that they've had, and it'll pick that up as it's sending the light to them that the vortex naturally does. And then those of us that are earth keepers, we go and we allow that resistance through our work to go and it allows the energetic flow of the vortexes to flow more properly. And then what I always do is I leave the center point where I was doing my work and then come back to it and find it more powered up and that's exactly what happened when we walked away and then came back. Guess I picked a good spot then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right here, right here. Good choice. <laughs> so let's meditate on that for just a second and just take a nice deep breath. Uh, inhale and exhale. I'm going to let Greg start off here. I'd like to set out the intention that all of our higher selves are connected right now. And I ask that Creator, Source, Universe, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, all of our all of our higher selves, and Mother Earth help magnify the intentions that we put out here this evening. Thank you. Now visualize that you are in an egg of pure white energy around you. See the sparkles of gold and silver. While this energy completely surrounds you, it is also flowy and permeable to that which you invite to join you today or as you merge with each other. With each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath, breathe in, 
and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now I want you to take your awareness to the part of your body that is touching the sand. Maybe your feet. Maybe your legs. Take your awareness and connect to the quartz crystals in the sand. Just imagine that you're narrowing your focus down to the sand itself. Feel the magnificence of that sand. Take your consciousness and actually go into the sand itself. Imagine that you're just below the surface of the ground, inside the layers of the sand. Connect and expand. Connect with the sand and expand. Take your consciousness from the sand to the core of the earth and meet Mother Earth. Connect with Mother Earth and allow her love to connect with you. Feel what it's like to be in the love of Mother Earth. Now that we have the love of Mother Earth, travel back up through the sand to your heart center. Get your consciousness physically in your heart center. Be in your heart space for you that could be the chambers of your physical heart. For you that could be the space right below your throat in your high heart whatever is your spot exist in that space take a breath now you have the love of mother earth in your heart you are with your own consciousness in your heart Now expand your heart energy out to connect with those here in our meditation. So as you inhale and then you exhale, imagine love, sparks, beautiful flowy energy coming out of your heart and connecting with everyone else's hearts in this circle. While in this vortex, imagine all of our energy creating a huge love bubble right here in this circle. So your consciousness is in this love bubble. What does it look like? What does it feel like? With your third eye, you can look around at everyone that's in the love bubble. And you smile. You say thank you. Do you see the sparkles? Do you see the creation that we have made here? Now expand your heart center even more and expand the love bubble even more to include everyone and everything on the beach. So we're expanding out, expanding out, expanding out. <coughs> Together, we're expanding our consciousness, expanding our love, and expanding our energy to encompass everything on the beach. Now let's radiate unconditional love, compassion, and upliftment into the planet's whole energetic field as we continue to expand. 
Imagine a grid and imagine the light that our love bubble carries, infusing the grid and spreading it all across the planet. So the grid is connected and it's spreading, the light is spreading all around the planet, expanding, expanding. This is the human consciousness field and we are expanding with our love and light. Now we're so powerful that we can imagine now that that grid is so full of light, lightning fast, faster than the speed of light, that the whole earth now shines like a star. All of the earth is expanding with our love and our light. Take a few moments to expand this love bubble as far as you can imagine to the galaxy, to the universe, and beyond. Together, we're expanding our love as far as we can imagine. Expanding. And it makes us happy. Now we want to take that expansion and we want to come back, come back, back slowly when you are ready, drawing the love bubble that you made. You joined in with everyone else. You want to bring it back here into your body on the crystal sand. Now we're connected with Mother Earth. We're connected with the universe. Take a deep breath in and out. Giving gratitude to the sand for helping you to expand your life. Gratitude to Mother Earth. Gratitude for the vehicle, the body that you are in right now to experience this time on the planet. As we sit in these beautiful love energies, I want you to feel as if you are connecting with all of your multi-dimensional selves. It exists right in your heart. Everything is in your heart. And just intend to connect to them. This would be what we call past lives that are happening at the same time on different levels of vibration. Allow all of your multi-dimensional selves to bask in the love and the light that we have created together here in this vortex so that they may be healed, that they may join you, that they may bring their wisdom, all of their experiences into this lifetime so that you can call on that information as you serve as a light worker. Connect also with your over soul. This is the bigger part of you that is outside of this experience. And it has the wisdom of all of these lives that you've had. All of your multi-dimensional selves all are tied back to this over soul. So you're connecting on a higher and higher and higher level. And you're saying, thank you. I love you. And from there, ultimately everything is connected to Source, and this is all within me. Right here, right now, on this quartz crystal sand. Now the love, now the now of this love and light will release the concepts of the past, this will remove any aspects of what we think is the future because there is only now, there is only one, and we are it. There is no separation, there is no time. All of that is an illusion. 
removing all veils of separation, you realize you are source and you are a creator. You are unconditional love. Sit with that for just a moment and realize who you are in your heart space and where you've just been. And realize that it's all happened in now in this vortex and we have expanded out into the universe which is within us. And when you're ready, open your eyes slowly and look around you to see the beauty of Mother Earth in the eyes of everyone in this group, everyone around us. We are back in this reality. And we have affected everyone here, not only on the sand, but on the Earth as well. Very powerful. And what we have just done is to send a clarion call to all of the multi-dimensional selves of ours, to our oversouls, to our galactic friends and family, and to Source, showing that we're embodying our true selves right here, right now. We are responsible co-creators. We are love and we are light, and we are ready to create a new Earth and rightfully claim all superhuman abilities. And so it is. Namaste. Namaste. So. I just want to say something. I don't know about anyone else, but my crown chakra is just <laughs> buzzing like crazy. It's just lit up. The top of my head is just buzzing. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. Yeah. Well, what I would like to invite you to do is to, if you'd like to share your experience, if you did have any experiences, come on up and, and share. Tell us. If you have yeah. any experiences. Yeah. <laughs> it's down the road. That's great. That's great. Bill, would you like to add anything? No. You're you're pretty happy there, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I feel it from my field. That's that's how we transition as we go through what we're going through. As as we're first recognizing the chakras, you'll feel it in in your crown as you do something like that. And later you feel it in your field going out. And it's, it's just like what I've been explaining. It's like back on a pearl. You know, and that's the same thing with vortexes. When we walked away and we came back, it was slightly more powerful. You get in closer to the circle, it's more powerful. And it affects a different chakra. You get in closer to the circle, it's even more power, powerful. And it affects even a different chakra. And that's, that's how I perceive it. There is supposed to be somebody coming to do the meditation and uh, this morning I realized she wasn't coming and I thought oh my goodness after everything now I, I got to focus on the meditation but it really really was very simple it actually came to me and it's just a part of um, everybody can make up their own meditation to do something very similar <coughs> it is just my way of expanding my heart chakra to be earth to be you know, the galaxy itself, to be the universe itself, and the just expansion, and that's what's going to keep you open, and that's what's going to keep you connected, and allow your body. Mm -hmm. um, I had no problem, you know, like, expanding my field, going out, but when I came back, he said, bring it all back to your heart, I didn't feel like I deserved it. Aww. You're bigger than you were when you yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fitting, man. It's hard as hell to come back into a body, to isn't it? See, this, this is a vortex here. Whether the Stargate is out there, we create artificial portals. This is a natural vortex here. The way the vortexes work is you've got some type of conduit. It can be, it can be salt. It can be water. It can be sand. It can be crystal. It can be silicone. It can be whatever that's coming up that literally goes all the way down, topping off the magnetic magma chambers of Mother Earth. And as the iron is spinning on the inside, it generates a field that goes up the conduit to positive ether, from negative ground to positive ether. This is a natural vortex here. What I did when I came here is to release the resistance that had been placed in here. Any one of you guys can choose to be an earth worker too. Y'all can come here 
and do the work, help keep it powered. It affects every single person that comes past this point, and it'll affect you too. It can help to raise your vibrations when you understand how to work with the earth, how to work with the power centers and vortexes. You can uh, you can do the work and allow it to help to heal and raise your frequencies too. And so that's part of it. And so know that this is a PowerPoint right here, and use it. Come back here. Come back here and use it. Know what you're doing when you're walking up. Be aware of what it's doing. And, and before you go into the expansion, be aware how it's hitting your chakras and work to clear out those chakras in your body. And, and you can put the stuff into the vortex and then turn around and clean it out too. So it works in and in. It is the infinity sun. It is the one but yet the two. Okay? thing I wanted to focus on is to um, to share how I connect with my multi-dimensional selves all the way up to you know angelic realm to source and you know all the way up because we have had a lot of lives that uh, may have had been, been killed for telling the truth you know burned at the stake as a witch or whatever if we haven't cleared that energy out of our field then uh, we're not able to run our energy like we just did. We went down to earth, we brought it up through our heart, and then we went from our heart, you know, up here through the vortex. We used the vortex as a tool in this case to, you know, to go all the way up. And so you can do this at home. You can do this on the beach for other people. You can keep doing this kind of uh, work. It's very simple, and you can create your own meditation, just like I did this morning. I just created it. And just what you were just saying about the past lives and, having the issues, when we go through traumatic experiences like that, battlefields are one of the places where you can really feel it. You can walk in and go, huh, not even know there was a field there, but you can feel the energies. And what we're doing is we're helping to release those that resistance, because that's what it is. Those old emotions, the negative emotions, the past experiences, the, the trauma that people are got, they just want to go, God, I don't want it anymore. And the earth will take it. But there's those of us, once we come to a certain age, we help to release it from the earth. And by our working with the earth, it works back with us. So. I'm not here to heal the earth. The earth knows how to raise her vibration and heal herself. We are here to help, as a collective, raise our vibration with the earth. So the earth, anytime you want to get rid of some junk that's not yours, just connect with the planet. Hug a tree. Come to the beach, use the water, you know, put your intentions to do it, and she will take it from you. And if you don't have a natural vortex to work with, create a portal. You know, that's, that's just... How did you create a, a portal? To create a portal is just to, to do a ceremony just like we just did, saying, I intend to put an energy point right here. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for bringing that, Andrew. Like, yes, that's exactly it, right there. Anybody have anything they'd like to share? Yeah, Phil, I want to ask you. Right. Yes. You're talking about the core of the earth. You make the analogy that it's like a negative neutral. So if we take all this junk and we put it down in the core, does it go, does it then go neutral? It all, it all cancels? Really what I mean by the core of the earth is not a physical place, but the consciousness where um, Mother Earth has her being. Just like we have ours in the core of us. In our heart, it's a Mother Earth's heart. It's not really a physical place, and you can you can send it. Mm -hmm. Energetically, you've got to understand it like like a circuit, and just like putting a ground into here, you're grounding right there. It is an energetic circuit. It is electronics, no doubt about it. Your bodies are too. Thank you. You know. You tend to forget all the little steps involved, so I, I knew that I had to go to the core of the earth, but didn't think of it as the word grounding, and that's exactly what we did. A couple observations here. Look around. How many people are there? 22. <laughs> 11, 11. Oh, shit. Totally unplanned. Yeah. I got goosebumps. My crown's oh, tingling again. My crown's again. going crazy. <laughs> Another thing, too, when I asked for my higher self to hook up with everyone else's higher self, 
and then we connect our creator, source, universe, so on and so forth, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil. Even though there's only 22 people here, there are literally millions upon millions of uh, galactic friends, neighbors, spirit guides, guardian angels right down the line. This is huge. You guys have no idea how big this is right now, so thank you all for being part of this.